And first up at 11 tonight, our big story. We just want to the, uh, everyone to know and be able to express it that we remember the tragedy uh, seven years ago and we'll never forget it. Tonight, 26 lives are being remembered. Seven years ago, the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting was considered the deadliest mass shooting in America. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Hogan. Today, many people across Connecticut attended vigils as well as church services. Shante Shante Passmore is here now with how people are honoring the lives that were lost. Shante. Kevin, at the vigil we went to, people read each shooting victim's name aloud. As they mourned the lives lost, they also explored ways of preventing another mass shooting. Even once is enough. The writing on the signs do the talking, placing a spotlight on a date considered the deadliest mass shooting in our nation at the time, December 14, 2012. In its earth-shattering wake, the Sandy Hook school shooting changed the state's gun laws while tightening school security around the U.S. On a misty Saturday night, a group quietly gathers for a candlelit vigil in Salisbury. Underneath the somber mood, a raging fury brews. It's heartbreaking. And, and people, I think, have gotten a little bit immune to, to feeling the outrage. Undeniably, more deadly shooting massacres have occurred since the 20 children and six educators were murdered. And here we are seven years later and there have been continued gun violence, especially in, in places where there are large numbers of people. The Northwest Corner Committee for Gun Violence Prevention vows to tackle gun reform, looking at every avenue. Anti-violence measures and mental health, as well as trying to keep uh, the guns out of the hands of people who shouldn't be able to have them. Amy Lake tells me she doesn't oppose all guns, only assault weapons for civilians. It's a fight she takes on. And as a public school teacher, I especially feel uh, compelled to take some action on be, because, because I have to. <laughs> And the Sandy Hook students would have been in eighth grade. Tonight, so many question, what is the best way to prevent another mass shooting, including Senator Chris Murphy? In an early statement, he writes, I won't rest until we change the laws of this nation to make sure our country doesn't knowingly facilitate the mass murder of children. That is my charge. Live in the newsroom tonight, Shante Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.